Welcome back, everyone. 14 and a half after the hour. And today in Behind the Headlines, we're taking a look at the reports of Mayor Bill de Blasio in New York City being an active, current marijuana user. A uh, piece coming from Gawker.com. The Bill de Blasio marijuana rumors are coming from cops. And for the entire time that Mayor de Blasio has been in office, he's been dogged by these rumors that he and his wife consume marijuana that they are current marijuana consumers. Now, when he was in a press conference yesterday, uh, speaking to the Daily Caller, Mayor de Blasio said, quote, I haven't smoked marijuana since I was at NYU, New York University, end quote. And he denied that he ever smoked weed at Gracie Mansion. Uh, Gracie Mansion's the official residence of the New York mayor, right? It's uh, like the governor's mansion or the White House for the New York mayor, basically, Gracie Mansion. But one interesting thing about these rumors is the source, and they keep coming from people in the New York City Police Department, more specifically, members of the NYPD that have been tasked as being part of the mayor's security detail. Now, Gawker is trying to uncover anyone they can find that has smoked marijuana with New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio. They've got a, a great picture of his days from uh, New York University and asking people if they've ever smoked with them and, can, and they can prove it to send their information in to Gawker. But uh, over the past year, uh, many people have brought up these rumors and the details are fairly consistent about the rumors. Uh, first of all, he was a public advocate before he was mayor and he and his wife, Sherlane McRae, apparently liked to smoke marijuana in their Park Slope row house or in a secluded section of Prospect Park. That's the first part of this rumor. The second part of the rumor is that uh, the public advocate is supposed to get an NYPD security detail, and he refused to have that security detail, supposedly because his wife was afraid they would get caught smoking marijuana. Then the rumor goes that once he became mayor, they started smoking in Gracie Mansion, and both the mayor and the first lady remain suspicious that NYPD security details have been leaking personal information about their activities and whereabouts to the press. Uh, in Politico, it was reported in 2013, de Blasio's team was even convinced that mem members of his police detail were eavesdropping on his private conversations in his city-assigned car. According to the Gawker piece, almost everyone we spoke with indicated that these rumors originated from cops assigned to protect the mayor and were later promulgated by their colleagues in the police department. They're also told that the Sergeant's Benevolent Association, the uh, police union, is doing a lot to spread these rumors as well. Now, whether or not the mayor of New York City is an active marijuana smoker, to me, makes no difference as to whether or not he can be an effective leader. The questions of hypocrisy, though, should be answered. Mayor de Blasio is... Uh, is, is uh, <laughs> Mayor de Blasio's New York Police Department has been using stop-and-frisk tactics to aggressively cite and arrest marijuana consumers. It would be the ultimate hypocrisy if he's puffing away at Gracie Mansion while a bunch of young kids, mostly are getting arrested and booked for marijuana crimes that he is committing. But there's also an aspect to this story that bothers me, and that is this rumor mongering by the NYPD, this, this attempted kind of velvet coup, if you will, to take down the mayor because they disagree with him on certain aspects of the broken windows theory of policing and his support of the idea that, hey, there's a problem in the NYPD in dealing with, with black and Latino people. And NYPD hasn't taken that very well. They've been turning their backs on him and now you know, promulgating these rumors to try to take him down. And that to me is just, uh, po that's dirty politics if you ask me. Whether or not someone's a marijuana consumer is irrespective of their, their use, uh, is irres has no bearing on whether they're going to be a decent mayor. The hypocrisy is a problem, but the marijuana use itself is not. But this is just more to be expected from the NYPD that is currently acting like a bunch of spoiled children instead of law enforcement professionals. We'll keep an eye on what's going on here with these rumors uh, with the mayor, but to me, this just seems a opportunity for the police to distract and deflect 
what's really going on in this situation. And that is the mayor and a lot of the people of New York City have lost the complete trust of the of their police forces. The, the people of New York City are increasingly distrustful of their police. And now, as the NYPD does this so-called work stoppage, this slowdown, where their issuing of common tickets and, and summons have declined over 94%, and yet the city still seems to be running on all cylinders, has once again shown people that much of what the NYPD is doing is backdoor taxation. Backdoor taxation by raising money through tickets and fines where politicians like de Blasio might be afraid of raising those taxes and uh, incurring some.